Over the summer holidays, I had put on a lot of weight, and I knew I had to start exercising again. I hated crowds, so my mother suggested I walk more. She was trying to be helpful. Trying. There was a park just down the street from where I lived, and I decided I'd start taking walks there before bed. Luckily, I knew the park was well lit, so I wasn't too worried. About ten minutes into my walk, I noticed a man in a raincoat sitting on a bench. As I passed him, he watched me and said, Turn back now, in a thick, strange accent. He looked quite off and may have been on drugs, so I pretended not to hear him and kept walking. It was a lovely night, peaceful, warm. Not a sound except for my feet crunching on the gravel path. I was in the center of the park when I heard a rattle in the bushes. Then suddenly the man in the raincoat jumped out behind me. This time he was holding an axe and he screamed at me, I told you to not walk down this path! I didn't know what to do, so I started running for my life. I looked back and the man was coming for me, holding the axe over his head, screaming at me. I thought I was going to die. As I continued running, I stumbled upon a large oak tree. What's the matter? The tree asked. I realized I was losing my mind. I felt faint. I told him that there was a crazy man chasing me with an axe. The tree said he knew of this man and would protect me. The tree then scooped me up with its limbs and used its branches to shield me. My mind may have snapped, but I felt safe and that's all I cared about. The crazy stranger came rushing up with his axe. He hacked into the branches trying to get at me. He broke through and I fell hard to the pavement. I picked myself up and just before he could swing again, I tackled the man to the ground. He dropped his axe and then the wise old tree extended his branch, picking up the stranger and sticking him inside his trunk. I thanked the wise old tree for saving my life. He was very kind and gracious. I wanted to shake his branch for saving me. When I did, he scooped me up and said, There's nothing to thank me for. In fact... That man with the axe was trying to save you. He opened his trunk and I saw dozens of bodies stuck inside him. He said, now it's your turn.